Hello and welcome to the Jason Eldridge Photo Show. In this video, I'm going to talk about the death of Lightroom Classic. Back in 2008, when Lightroom 2 was released, that's when I started using Lightroom. Well, a few years back, Adobe renamed Lightroom to Lightroom Classic, and then they came out with a whole new Lightroom. So what is that? I honestly, I, I'm not sure what their reasoning behind it all was, but when it came out, I said, all right, let me look at Lightroom and let me see what it is. So first of all, it was confusing. It was all cloud-based. I'm old, get off my lawn. So I didn't put any more stock into it. I said, well, I'm gonna use Lightroom Classic. Well, if you really think about it, whenever you name something classic, kind of means it's gonna end up going the way of the dinosaur. But that was a few years back, and we still have Lightroom Classic, and we still have Lightroom. Well, again, ever so often I would go check Lightroom out, and it would be confusing. The cloud, I don't understand any of that. I could learn it, and I may end up having to, but right now, I just want my Lightroom Classic, and that's all I care about. But I can't not look to the future to what Adobe may or may not be doing. Recently, they came out with something that really interested me, which was the addition of the local tab in Lightroom, which means you can still have your files locally. You can go look at them locally, so you can have your file structure the way you want. You can go to that local tab. It'll bring all of the information up that you want. It'll bring your images up, and you can edit then. Well, way back when, when I tried Lightroom the first time, a lot of features were missing. It just wasn't even close to the same. Well, today I decided to dig in a little bit and I found all of the features that I enjoy are absolutely there in Lightroom. And that got me to thinking that maybe Lightroom Classic is really gonna become uh, the thing of the past, that it is going to go away. I don't know when, but it, there's a good chance that it's gonna go away because why would Adobe have two versions of something that does pretty much the same thing. So when I got into it and I started looking, I did, I did find a few challenges. Uh, most everything that, that I want is there, but the challenges are the, the interface is, is really different. I don't think that they use the screen space as well as they could. And so for me, it just felt really, really different. And a lot of the hotkeys that you're used to like uh, hitting R to go into the crop menu, it doesn't do that in Lightroom. Why you would change something from the classic version to the new version, uh, something like your quick keys, I, I don't know. And I also noticed that Control-Z, which gets you out of a lot of trouble in a lot of programs where it backs you up, in the Lightroom version, Control-Z doesn't even do that. It just goes to the previous image that you had selected. Yes, you can go through and you can reset all of your files or your, your filters, all of your things that you've added to the image, all of your developments. You can reset those manually. But I like the idea of Control Z if I just didn't like what I was doing and Control, you know, just make it a quick key and step back a little bit and get where I wanted to go. But you can get there. It just seems weird that they would change something that's so fundamental in a lot of programs. But the changing the quick keys is very bizarre. I'm not sure why you would do that. But it's like anything else. The more you use it, the more you get used to it. And I could see eventually that that wouldn't be an issue. It's just kind of strange that they decided to do that. And on my initial look, the images themselves, see, it seemed kind of clunky, kind of slow, kind of lethargic. But I was adding in a ton of photos at the time. And the more I let it bake, the better it got and got to the point where I could maneuver the sliders and do everything that I would normally want to to an image and it seemed relatively quick. So there is that. So I see a lot of potential in Lightroom. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the UI and the way that they've done it, but it's all there. You can find it, you can learn the program, and you can do whatever you want to with your image within Lightroom. I still prefer Lightroom Classic and for the time being, I'm absolutely gonna stay in Lightroom Classic, but now I'm gonna learn Lightroom as well 
for the inevitable time where they say, we're not gonna support Lightroom Classic anymore, it is gonna go away and we're gonna go straight to Lightroom. Now I have no insider knowledge, I don't know if that's what they're, they're gonna do, I, I don't know any of that, but that is what I suspect, and I suspected it when they first named it Classic. So what do you think? Is Lightroom Classic gonna go away and if so, are you gonna stay with Adobe Lightroom or are you gonna go somewhere else? Are you gonna get outside the Adobe ecosystem and choose a different platform? That is also an option. If you're gonna to have to learn a new program, why not? Well, for me, I'm pretty tied into the Adobe uh, ecosystem with Premiere and all of the things that I need and Photoshop and all that. So I'm gonna stay with the Lightroom. And even if they switch to straight Lightroom and they, they retire Classic, and let it sail off into the sunset. I'm gonna stay with Adobe. So right now, I'm gonna, we'll call it Adobe Curious, Adobe Lightroom Curious. And that's what I am. I'm gonna start looking at that Lightroom application more and to see if I can figure out the workflow and to decide whether or not I'm gonna go that route. How about you? Would you like to see some videos on Lightroom? Not Lightroom Classic, but on just Lightroom, what do you plan to do? Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell. All of that really does help. And I want to thank you for watching. And as always, grab your camera, get off the couch, escape, explore, and create.